I'm super excited to announce the Jumpstart Pro Android is now available. This is something we've been working on for a long time and I'm super excited to share it because it means that you can build the trifecta, the web version, the iOS and the Android versions and you can get them all running in just a few minutes. So what you'll need is a Rails app using Hotwire. We've got our Jumpstart Pro application running here. We've basically just installed it and booted it up and that is it. It's all you really need in order to get your Hotwire based Android app running. So we can open up Android Studio and have our emulator running and we can click play on this and it will boot up the Android app um, for us. So the way that this works is it's actually a hybrid mobile app. So we have native things built in Kotlin and Jetpack Compose, but the main core of the application is actually a web view that's embedding our web app, our Rails application. So the content on this page is actually straight from the um, web view in the Rails app, but there are some really nice little features that we've added um, to make it feel more native. So for example, we have this native tab bar at the bottom for home, what's new, notifications, you can change any of these and have them work the way that you would like them. Um, but when it comes to navigation, uh, we also need to actually authenticate and log in users and sign up users. So the native views for logging in and sign up are built into the Android app already for you. Same goes for the iOS app as well. Um, and these actually authenticate your mobile app on both the Android device and in the web view. So we have the Android app with an API token and the web view signing in with cookies. So we can make requests for that user either way. So we can do things in the web view or natively, however we might need to interact with our Rails backend. The same thing goes for um, some of the navigation up here. This is native UI. You click the menu button and it will actually use what's called the turbo bridge in order to hide and show the navigation here. So on a responsive website on mobile, you'll want to embed the nav bar in there, but on our Android and iOS native apps, we want to use native navigation. So it feels better and uh, works like you would expect it to. So we are using the turbo bridge to actually tell the JavaScript on the page to show that navigation there. And the JavaScript can actually do the same and send messages to the Android or iOS code to tell them to do things like update the notifications count if we receive a new notification. When we sign up and log in, we'll send the notification uh, token to the server and we'll keep track of that and your Rails application if you're using Jumpstar Pro is already set up so that it will save those tokens and clean them up if the user deletes the um, Android app or the iOS app. And then you can send notifications from the Rails app to Apple push notification service or the Firebase cloud messaging service. And those will be turned into push notifications that send to your iOS and Android devices. So that is uh, the high level of everything that we've got going with Jumpstart Pro Android. I'm super excited about it because it finally completes that trifecta of the web, the Android and the iOS mobile apps. That is really kind of the core of what you need in order to build a new product these days. So it's available on every platform and uh, we now have a solution for that. So you can buy all three templates. They all work together. They use the same Rails backend and you were good to go in about five minutes. So that is Jumpstart Pro Android. If you have any questions, let us know. We're happy to help and get you on the right path. That is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk soon.